parliaments and 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 uh, democracies operate in largely the same way. Um, and there's a civil service who are not political who can act the work, the orders of their their government that's been voted in. Anyhow, in the civil service, which is strictly hierarchical, much like the education system, there is a ten year life extension at the top of the civil service to the people at the bottom because of where they feel they are in relation to. Well, we are taught from a very young age to seek approval from someone else, to be validated by somebody else. We are never taught to validate ourselves, to look within and to, at the end of the day, the only person you ever need to impress is yourself. If you want to be happy, if you want to be fulfilled, if you want to be well, if you want to be proactive and generous in your community, you have to feel that you are worthy and you cannot do that, it's impossible to do that, if you are constantly seeking someone else's approval or validation. Both. That's I think we start sowing that seed so, so early, it's so damaging. Mm. Bob, Okay, so what you said was, I couldn't agree more, that extrinsic ha happiness, that happiness is going to be bestowed upon you from somebody else by praising you or valuing you or judging you. What is essential is intrinsic happiness. What makes you tick? And that's where the mindfulness comes in. What is my purpose? What is my sense of being all about? Most people don't know what intrinsic happiness is. They don't know what truly makes them happy. Mm -hmm. that, and that's where we fail. And this, this is an environmental, societal problem. No. Because we educate our young this way, we don't allow them to kind of say, this is what I like, this is what I enjoy, this is what I embrace, this is what makes me happy. We, 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 we squeeze that out of children, as, and as they get older, they become these consumers of everything that's extrinsic. We don't live by scarcity and our own resources. We look for extrinsic pleasures and praise and stuff. It's, it is one of the most it's just one of the most toxic things of our culture right now. Mm -hmm. like, 100%. Look at, a, look at a baby. We are born <coughs> to be um, ourselves and authentic and happy, and then we are taught every single day to look for fault everywhere. Yeah. And then, once you manage to make someone feel insecure, which is what this kind of conditioning does, and it is global, it is, you know, yeah. almost every country that's the way it's set up. We never then teach people how to undo that conditioning yeah. because we don't change parents. This is the point of system. parenting, right? This is yes. the whole point of parenting. Instead of instead of teaching our kids to, you know, follow what the school system and the the societal system uh, creates, we should be teaching them um, as parents um, how to find that intrinsic value within themselves you know i feel that that is a job of a parent not necessarily the job of the school or the society or the culture um it's the job of the parent uh, the job of the parent is to teach uh their children to learn how to find happiness within themselves not necessarily happiness outside the world not necessarily even happiness from their own parents Okay, okay. No, I, would, I, would I, I actually, I just, parents don't know how to do that. Parents when your children are work. raised by the state, which they are here, women are encouraged to go out to work at six weeks old, you know, put your baby back into a nursery, get back into the workplace, because, if, you know, you don't want to be a stay-at-home mum because your brain's going to mush. And, and we've, we've downgraded the job of parenting. That's what we're told over and over and over mm -hmm. again. Childcare is huge here in this country, especially in this country. So when, when you actually spend time with your children, where's the quality conversations coming? You've probably not got home till six, seven o'clock. Then it's just a case of a quick bath in bed. There's no, we've taken away the opportunity or the role of the parent because we have to have the things that we are told that we need to live life. Yes, and or this is- we have to, Or this because is we have to be strong, empowered women, which we can be whether we choose to stay at home and parent or not. But this but is the we reason. Sold the dream of working all the time. Yes, you're, the, the idea that you can do everything is a lie, but then the idea of trickle down economics was a lie. It's been proved to be a lie, and yet we're still doing it. Um, uh, However, there is, uh, there is actually one word that I want to bring in. 
please. And the word is honesty. So we are me. not hon honest. We are not honest with ourselves. Our society is not honest. For example, we are printing currency to solve problems, which have caused the printing currency in the first place, which is totally crazy. If we look at the financial system, it's, it's basically making and producing uh, unsustainable economy and ill-minded people.